Uh, hello guys, this is day two of building the, the knee guards for my Commander Shepherd outfit. Um, as you saw yesterday that I cut my template, gave it those little grooves, and then molded it. Uh, but before I get too much into that, I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing with the what I've been calling the calf guards, which is the back of the, the calf armor for my Commander Shepherd outfit. Because again, no shin guards. I've, I don't know, but got a guard for my calf. Anyway. So, here's my template from yesterday. Um, it has been slightly uh, foamed or sculpted already. Sorry, I have nothing to drink. <laughs> so, um, I have been heating it just a little bit already. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing that. Because not only is um, this part of the, uh, the armor you know, rounded, which I can easily do just by grabbing it and heating it that way. Um, it's also slightly domed in the middle, so so surprisingly, you know, going to IKEA as I allow a motorcycle to go by, um, I came across these bowls. My roommate was shopping, and I just saw these bowls. And surprisingly, at IKEA, they're only a dollar, so I bought them, um, and I've been using that. So what I have been doing is, if I've been heating. Uh, the foam. I've been heating the middle of it. And on my table, I've been, as it's heated, I press it on it and just kind of rub it back and forth. Thus, you know, working the middle and stretching it just a little bit each time I do it into a dome shape. So hopefully when I'm done, it'll be a slight bulge. And actually, it has worked. Um, it's hard to tell on this model, but this is the finished one. So... Um, I have domed it, I have bent it into, you know, the curved shape, and then I etched it. Um, I always do the detail work after I'm done molding this foam, because uh, you need to keep in mind, it's with anything really, not just foam, but even clay for that matter. Um, say if I did my detail work now, domed it, bent it, whatever, it's going to deform it. Just, just a little bit, you know. My straight lines, if I started out this way and, you know, then I finished it with it, they're going to be like that. And I don't want that. I want them to be nice and straight. So, this is done. So, we're going to move on back to the knee guard. Um, again, there's two pieces to the knee guard uh, the upper bit, which is this part, and then there's a part that goes down here, which is this one right here. Again, you know, it used to be flat, but, uh, Again, I heated the middle of it, and then just kind of held it, squished it, and held it like this until it kept this shape. Okay, I didn't have to use the bowl at all. I'm going to put my bowl away. Alright. Um, unfortunately, there's also a lot more... The reason why, you know, bent this was, one, it fits to my knee better. And two, when I do more detail work into it, it'll make it look like the, th the foam is thicker than what it really is. Mm, excuse me. And then, you know, I'll go ahead and super, or, once again, calling hot glue super glue. We're going to hot glue it to the part, and, you know, that's what, it look, what it'll look like when it's done. However, I did finish one of them. I finished my right knee guard, and that's what it's going to look like when it's done. So, as you can see, you know, with the doming that I've done with this, or the shaping I've done with this one, um, I've done this it, it to this one first, and then I... Shave down the edges, and you know, just kind of looking at it, it makes it look like it's slightly thicker than what it really is. And then I did my little edge work right there. So, with these two pieces, though, when I'm actually done with them, they're going to be white to match the rest of my armor. And these little circles here and that one there will be purple also to match my armor. But yeah, so here we have one knee guard, one calf guard done, and I'll probably be working on the rest and I'll get these done. Uh, probably not painted tonight. We'll see how my insomnia lets me. Because, uh, again, work early in the morning and last night, uh, just doing this part, when we left off, you know, I was forming this. Uh, to get it to this part, like I said, it takes time and patience to make it, you know, form to the way you want. It took me a good few hours because I also did this one. And it was about like four in the morning before my husband came in and said, Hey, go to bed and work it in five hours. So, 
I, I need a better hobby, but I'm not going to get one. <laughs> I like my hobbies too much, even though they're dumb and make me look stupid. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, hope that helps with a little bit more of foaming. Or not foaming, making foam armor. Um, so yes. This is Adair, also known as Canius on DeviantArt, signing off, and I'll see you guys later. Um, if I do another post, it won't be until tomorrow, because I'll get this all done today. And then tomorrow, probably, most likely, I'll be showing how I'm going to be attaching, you know, some uh, straps and whatnot, so I can wear them. So, hopefully that will work out well. So, again, see you guys later. Until then, I hope you all enjoy yourselves.